So this is the finished product. I have it mounted to the wooden pieces as you saw from the previous footage. You have to make sure you use strong wood screws. I think I have number 10 or probably number 10 or number 12 wood screws. Now it's actually going into this piece of wood into this backing plate into studs. And so the whole purpose of this is so that these rails can slide and support my weight. So when you take the two by four, I cut it at a 45 degree angle. So it's really hard to do unless you have a table saw. And I went somewhere to that had a table saw and asked them to cut this for me. And you can see the matching 45 degrees right here. And so I mounted the Trango pieces into this backing plate into this. So there's like a few screws. And actually behind this guy, there's a few more machine screws, actually wood screws securing this guy down. So the whole point is so that uh, you can adjust it depending on your shoulder width on um, whatever you want. And it's pretty reliable, pretty strong. So as you can see here, you can move it in bigger, smaller, and then you could do uh, the triangle training board system. It's pretty nice that there's like finger pockets, like you know, deep number, deep ones, a little bit shallow and most shallow. And then you can, there's like pinches, slopers, big grips, like here. You kind of like do the three finger pocket. It's like pretty strong because it could hold me up. So it's not bad. And that's it. That's how you put one together.